Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions. And today we're back with Tool, the incredible Tool, and we are doing the song Push It. Uh, this has been requested quite a few times. I'm slowly working through the record. I just did Eulogy. I'm going to do H as well, and that will cover mm, probably 70% of this record. So, anyway, if this is the kind of thing you dig, thanks for joining me. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment as well. And here we go. So up until this point, really cool mixing. It was all kind of right down the middle. You could hear Danny's drums, the snare. It's really cool. There's not a lot of ambience to the drums. They're really kind of dry sounding. And everything's right down the middle. And I was wondering, I was going to make note of this uh, before it kind of expanded. And now the whole stereo field is a lot bigger. Uh, the drums are still kind of um, in the right ear predominantly or at least the sneer is but kind of some great cool mixing stuff <laughs> And guitar tonally too it's like i have a little bit of a hard time separating them out sometimes but there's a lot of fuzz uh so i'm not exactly sure if adam is just doing some cleaner less distorted stuff and that's all bass uh but there's some cool kind of low end um kind of bass movement that's really cool you know there's a static kind of key sender and then as you kind of move stuff around it kind of changes the kind of harmonic environment but 
I, I, it's an interesting song because usually I don't hear a lot of, I mean, Justin uses fuzz on bass. Maybe Adam does, but I don't, I don't think that's on his board. Uh, maybe it was back then. So it's kind of interesting. It's not that tight, um, kind of Mesa or diesel kind of high gain, uh, tight guitar stuff that, uh, I'm used to hearing at least. So kind of some cool tonal variations than uh, other songs even on this record, so. Even here, it doesn't have that uh, high-end, uh, kind of really thick, but tight guitar sound. It's a little more, it sounds more like a big muff or something as far as fuzz goes. <laughs>
beautiful. That, to me, in character is a lot different than a lot of the other songs on this record. Now, obviously it sounds like Tool, but sonically different, mixing some kind of cool stuff. Uh, David Botrill is the producer, engineer, and mixing the record. He did the last Mastodon record. He did uh, many Tool records. Um, I'm looking at it here, Godsmack, stuff like that. Uh, King Crimson. Uh, I'm a huge King Crimson fan. Uh, Peter Gabriel, he did some of his big records. Um, tons of stuff. Lots of, on the heavier side. He also did the Muse record, Origin of Symmetry, which is a great record. Uh, some Dream Theater. All sorts of cool stuff. Um, so I really like his approach to the band. I mean, he's worked with the band quite a bit. He also did Rush uh, Vapor Trails, which is a record I don't like. And I'm a huge Rush fan, but... With that said, the last Mastodon record, killer, double record, sounds great. So anyway, um, do yourself a favor and Premier Guitar just did a rig run through with Justin that's over 40 minutes long. Hopefully we get one from Adam. That would be really fun for me specifically, uh, but Justin's was pretty incredible. So uh, do yourself a favor and watch it if you haven't. And I am Brian. This is Guitar Solo Reactions. See you soon.